pretty and awake. Well, the pretty part is objective. Um, but I might look awake, but I am not. Um, I actually did manage to go to bed a decent hour last night. But I got maybe about five hours of sleep. Um, before my first alarm went off, which was at 7.30. And I actually got up. I laid there for a couple of minutes, but I actually got up um, and made my tried to make my start to the day. Um, Abby actually woke up just before 8:30, and um, so she was. She just got done eating breakfast uh, when I left, or what you could call a breakfast, according to toddlers. Um, made her like two um like breakfast nugget things three pan three mini pancakes and some grapes she loves her grapes and she ate two and a half well no take that back she ate about two, yeah about two and a half of the mini pancakes maybe a small bite of the breakfast one of the breakfast nuggets and all of her grapes like I said, loves her grapes. But, uh, I, I try not to worry about it too much because I know she'll eat what she wants to eat when she feels like it. Um, that's just something, I've, I've read that somewhere, or I heard that something somewhere, and I always try to keep that in mind. Because if a toddler's hungry, they're gonna eat. But she is super picky, and it's really hard. <laughs> um... But, uh, I am on my way to work right now, um, if you can't tell, because I'm not in my work shirt. Because, uh, the position I'm gonna be working today, um, I'm able to at least wear a normal shirt. <laughs> I do still have on some khaki pants that I would normally wear to work, um, with my usual uniform. But, um, I mean, they're nice, they're nice khaki pants, so... They're serving as a dual purpose. So, um, it's going to be a short day. It's Sunday. We usually close after lunch. So, I do have to go to Target when I get off to return some extra ornaments that I didn't use because <laughs> I told y'all I got way too many. And, um, so then after I get done with Target, then I don't know. Because part of me needs to do a couple of things and go a couple other places, but I don't want to stay out too long because, I mean, the time just goes by so fast. And, I mean, I could get out of work at 2.30, which probably ain't going to happen today. I could get out of work at 2.30 and go to Target, and the next thing I know, I'm getting home at like 4 four thirty so I don't know especially this time of year things just go by too quick too quick but uh that's that's what my day looks like I did get a little bit of stitching in last night and this morning I got maybe about thirty about thirty minutes or so of stitching in this morning um but I did get a like a couple of hours worth of stitching last night well no maybe not that long maybe not about an hour last night um but I will, I'll show y'all that later on. So. But that's it for now. Um, I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye for now. What's up guys? It's me again. Um, at home now. <laughs> it's nighttime, as it usually is. It's about almost 12.45 in the morning. Um, I just wanted to come in and give you a quick little update on what I've accomplished today. I did manage to get stitching in on Klein 4 um, both last night and then a little bit this morning so you're gonna see a little bit of extra progress um, and just a little bit of progress in on um, Aphrodite Mermaid so um, seeing as uh, Klein 4 was the first thing I worked on since you last saw me um, I'm going to editing me We'll insert the picture of what this actually looks like once it's stitched up. Um, this isn't the model photo from the designer. Um, this is just somebody else's 
stitching of it, um, which they had posted to the group afterward. This pattern is no longer available. Um, I got it through the group Landon Randon on Facebook, which I will link down below. She, she does put out some beautiful free designs for the group specifically, but then um, like after a while she'll remove them. So you only have a limited amount of time to download it. But, um, but let me show you where it's at now. Um, since you last saw, I remember doing the S, so I stitched all the way from the S to the Z, and that's it. <laughs> I finished out that, that row. This Z, y'all, this Z is like, I've never seen a Z stitch like that before. But it's, it's really unique. So that's where that's at now. This is on a 40 count fabric. One over two. Um, using Classic Color Works in Apple Fritter. Sorry. Um, I don't know what this fabric is. It's a 40 count. That's all I know. I, part of me wants to say it is um, pecan butter from my side linens, but that might not be it. It might also be something from a seraphin fabrics. It feels like it could be from seraphin fabrics. I don't know. No clue what this fabric is. So, but I think I started this before I got into seraphin fabrics. So it might be pecan butter from my side linens. Don't hold me to it though. Um. So that's all my progress on that. And um, the other thing that I've been working on as an active whip is uh, Aphrodite Mermaid. And it's been a while since I showed y'all this. I, did I even show y'all the picture when I first started working on this? I don't remember doing that. So this is Aphrodite Mermaid. Because I keep, apparently keep forgetting to show it. But that's Aphrodite Mermaid by Mirabilia. Um, and I'm stitching it on a, it's a 32 count Grace's Ocean from Fabric Flare. It is a printed fabric, um, that has a beautiful under, under the sea, sea bottom type of picture on it. Apologies. Um, this is where she's at now. I finished... This black over here, and then yeah, I had to move this over. There's a little bit of black over here. So between that, all of that that I finished up, that was 88 stitches. And as you can see, I already have my needle threaded with the next color. I am going to start doing the blue. It's this same blue right here, but I'm going to come down on the other side, and then it kind of meets up, and I can just go across. Um, and then there's it's in the, the rest of parts of the tail too, but um, I get to stitch on something other than black. So, but that's where she's at now. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, for 24 hours, I don't think that's too terrible. But uh, I have tomorrow off and depending on some circumstances, I may or may not get to go out and run a couple errands um it's all dependent on some money getting deposited into the into my account or not it's going to happen sometime this week i just would rather it be tomorrow <laughs> because i'm ready to just get everything done and over with and be done for the christmas stuff but uh we'll have to see if it doesn't get deposited tomorrow then i'll probably just be hanging around the house trying to get some stuff done trying to get some stitching done the usual so i don't have any haul I, I haven't had haul in a while i don't usually buy a lot of stuff um i have however you know how youtube has the new shorts um type videos on there it's basically youtube content creators are uploading their tiktok videos to youtube i there's been a couple of times i have gotten caught up in the thread of next video next video next video for like 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 an hour 
and then I was like, I had to snap myself out of it and say, like, watch a real video. So, um, so there's that. <laughs> uh, I did get to go, to, I did go to Target today after I got off work and returned some ornaments. Unfortunately, one of the, one of the, one things that I was wanting to return was in a separate bag. Um, it was a plastic pack of like mini ornaments and I was going to return those as well but for whatever reason they were still in a separate bag so maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to go and return them later I don't know or maybe I'll just hold on to them they, they weren't that much but um I think maybe I might get like 350 back for them I think something like that so it's not really terribly worth it but uh I did get to go to Target and return those today and while I was there, I um I went back and um got some twelve packs of sodas for Andy. Um, and then I also got I had to put it back here. Um, because they actually had a, a coupon that if you bought fifteen dollars worth of the twelve packs of sodas, um, they had a three dollar off coupon. So this was in the dollar spot. They had this one and then they had one that was like all of this this green color. I got this. Abby seems a little scared of it. <laughs> she seems a little unsure. It's just like a little toy. Um yeah. But I got that. That was three dollars. But uh um yeah. So I left Target and I came straight home because Lord knows I didn't have the money to do anything else, so but uh yeah guess that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I am going to try to get this video uploaded um, very, fairly quickly and get to bed at a decent hour because Abby actually woke up early this morning, earlier than normal this morning, um, by about an hour and a half, two hours worth. Um, and she went to bed last night at the usual time like 12 or something it's what one o'clock but then she was back up she was awake by 8 30. i think she actually woke up right before 8 30 but we'll, we'll say 8 30. and so i mean i got her up and went ahead and gave her back changed her got her breakfast and all that good stuff and um i got up um I got ready for work. After a while, I got ready for work and went in there and got Andy and told him, you know, Abby's up, um, and um, so that he knew that he needed to get up because I needed to leave for work at a certain time. But uh, so I know I feel like it's adjusting. It, it's kind of um, what do you call it? It's kind of switched her sleep schedule um maybe because she was up at 8 30 she took a nap and he said he had he had to put her down at one o'clock which is he was just being an absolute terror and i saw the message in about maybe 2 20 1 no sorry 2 15 2 20 um and she was asleep and she did not wake up until probably right before I pulled in the driveway. And that was at about 4.10. So she was probably awake by like 4 o'clock. So um, I don't know why I'm telling y'all. It, it's like it shifted. That's kind of the word I was looking for. It shifted her sleeping schedule. So she, she's very likely to wake up early again tomorrow. Maybe. It just depends on how she slept today. If she got enough sleep, then, and, you know, she'll wake up again about 8, 30, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. If she didn't, then she'll sleep later. So, we're just going to have to see. But, anywho, um, y'all didn't know all that. But, uh, that's all I got for y'all today. Um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys can get lots of stitching and I hope you're enjoying these uh, little vlogs because they're kind of stressful, if I'm being honest. But I do them for you guys. So, but uh, 
That's all I got. I'll see you all later.